some question may be asked. Uh, I got asked. I can say something about. So um, this is another app or yeah, startup, I know, quite big one. Um, Memorize, which is focusing on, on language learning. Um, so it's this one, Memorize. Um, they're pretty big. They were often most downloaded language apps for a year, for a number of years by now. Um, and what they do is it's a kind of crowdsource keyword image finding for languages. So if I'm here uh, at my Dutch words, uh, sorry for me, the menu you know is German. I didn't switch it. Um, what it does is when I don't first. know a word or when I learn it the first time, you can select select kind of different images or keywords people put in. Like the word uh, firm fixed means uh, fast. In, in Dutch and English, uh, it's an, uh, firm. So um, you maybe screw it fast uh, so it gets really fast fixed. Um, so that's an image I like, so I select this one. Um, so this is what you can do for uh, this also hard, 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 pretty easy. You maybe don't need an image. Um, so this is memorize. So like memorize, just no O, memorize. And yeah, they focus on language learning um, and have tons of material available for like tons of languages from basic to more advanced. And of course, the more common languages, the more uh, material is in there. Like if I say I already speak English, it's a uh, US English. Um, there's like a million people already using it to study Spanish. And so it's crowdsourced quite well, so you will have a lot of good ideas. So um, that's a tool um, for language learning, memorize. Yeah. So we have one question in front here, which languages does I, I learn or study? So yeah, uh, English, but I don't use memorize for that anymore. So if I now come across terms, uh, I don't know. I still use images for that. Um, but yeah, I don't specifically study English anymore. Yep. Um, same actually for Dutch. So by now my Dutch is also nearly on the level as my English is. Um, I never saw a single teacher for Dutch ever. Um, when I moved to the Netherlands like four years ago, I went to memorize. I downloaded the course of 1,000 most common Dutch words, memorized it in a weekend, um, and then got quite good in understanding uh, what I heard, um, and then started to just produce sentences. There's maybe also a point for language learning. Um, so my system would be, um, I start with pronunciation. So at least for all alphabet-based languages like Spanish, Dutch, if I have the word like this N with this thing on top in, in Spanish, I need to know like if it's, the word is not manana, but manana. I need to be able to read it without maybe knowing what it means. If I'm speaking Dutch, in Dutch you have this letter G. It doesn't sound like a G, but more like a <sighs> something like a problem with his throat. So um, but you need to know what it, what it is. So when I see the text, that I'm able to read it. So when I then get my words to study it, and uh, it says, for example, G-O-K-K-E-N. Uh, it's not jocken or something, but it's gokken, uh, which means to gamble or to guess. So uh, I can make um, keywords then going into that direction. So first step is pronunciation. I want to be able to, to read it off. And like, if I study Russian, like I don't really study Russian. I did a Russian TV show uh, last summer, so I tried to learn a few dozen sentences just for communication. First thing is I need to be able to read Cyrillic, uh, where again I can make images to learn the characters of the alphabet. So that's the first step. And then I can read it, and then I can learn words. So my second step is really learning words. Um, and then like the system, like Memorize also has, just like looking at the most common words. Like if it's typical textbook students have, like you have an old chapter about cooking. Yeah, great. If you're cooking with someone in the language, it's nice. But uh, I like just like the practical approach, 1,000 most common words, something like this, because if you know the 1,000 most common words, and then you get a text in this language, you pretty much understand uh, what is around. And um, yeah, it helps you. And then afterwards, so it's, uh, just speak it. And maybe for some of you, it's more necessary as advice than for others. Saying like, typical people who grew up in the US, they don't have much of a problem with that. Uh, like they don't learn any second language, that's a problem. But <laughs> if they want to do it, they don't worry too much about making mistakes. People who grew up in Asia, I see that a lot even with memory athletes. So memory sports in, in China at the moment is pretty big. If you want to be on the Chinese team, you have to qualify from the city championship to regional, to state, to national, then to the national team. It's like tens of thousands of people who do it in China. And many of them have like perfect grades in English, but I can't talk to them. 
And I'm pretty sure I could if they would just dare to open their mouths. But they are so afraid of making mistakes. Um, and that's really sad because it hinders them in really learning the language. Because I can send emails with them, which is nice. But when I meet them, it would be nice to also be able to talk to them. And uh, they are so afraid of making mistakes um, that they don't dare to speak. And it really doesn't matter. If someone walks in here who is lost and speaks hardly any English and just says, uh, I uh, wear exit. We still understand, OK, he probably didn't want to be in this building and show him out. Or if he asks, uh, uh, toilet needed, uh, or toilet need, just very simple. We, yeah, OK, we'll bring him there. And then maybe we say something in an appropriate, sim simple English back. OK, I show you uh, the toilet. Uh, if you have the words, you start to pick it up. I never had a single Dutch lesson ever. I never saw anyone teaching me Dutch. Um, and my grammar certainly isn't perfect. But I speak it now pretty well. So that would be my process, my process really for language learning. Um, yeah, and I wanted to uh, show you a little video from one TV show I did in China. Um, also for this question of how, how uh, can I access the knowledge, actually. Um, so it's also fun to watch, uh, at least for not Chinese people, I guess. Maybe for Chinese people also. Uh, it was very popular on Chinese TV. It has very high audience numbers. It's basically the American show uh, Superhumans. As maybe you heard about that. It's basically the Chinese version. Um, so I was competing here. I'll jump around a little bit and comment on it. Um, <laughs> Ich bin stolz darauf, dass ich diesmal wieder das deutsche Team anführen darf. Ich habe sogar meinen Konkurrenten aus Deutschland von der Gedächtnismeisterschaft, Simon Reiner, in unser Team geholt, eine Partnerschaft aufgebaut, damit sicher wir dieses Mal gewinnen werden. The task is you see here in the background, uh, they have this cups. Uh, what you see here in the background, they have this cups labeled 1 to 100. And uh, you now they shuffle dices. And under each cup, there will be four dices. Uh, your training, you know this guy maybe? You <laughs> develop a memory palace, a visual image. He's Robert Disney. But you are in here. two contests uh, tonight. He's the director, actually. Each with its own. So, Guns talking, uh, maybe they should actually start doing something. Let me get uh, four and a half seconds. Uh, Look at each cup. Chuchuan. 100 cups, yes. 科学助理一次打开骰钟, 王峰和Boris对共计一百组骰子进行了记忆. So 100 cups, and then we get asked, uh, to be tested, they ask the single uh, cup, like what is number 47? So it is now. So that's um, one task, and you saw like I need a little moment, the Chinese guy as well, to get to the answer. But um, 
I don't need to walk through like all 1 to 40 to find the answer. Um, and of course, I'll also show you what I do with the numbers, but we'll come to that in, uh, in a little while. But first, I want to come back to this method of loci. And at the end, you should not, you will not be able to do this uh, later today, so don't uh, expect that. But you will understand exactly how I did it. And that's the idea. Um, and to do this, I needed a memory palace. And a memory palace for me is just basically a set of locations. So the method of loci is kind of the term for this technique, which you will also find in scientific papers. And then previously, I usually called it a root, because in Germany, we talk about roots a lot. Or sometimes you find the term journey. Like a journey is then a set of locations. And basically, since uh, the Sherlock series got popular, again, people like to talk about a memory palace. So a memory palace for me is just a set of locations. And we really want to do it here together now. So we want to um, build up in our mind a set of locations. That's a goal. And this is just some hints. So when I do it, uh, how do I do it? I try to look at known locations. Well, you don't live here, so maybe your apartment or the place you live, it works even better. But we're here now, and that's known enough. Um, Particularly people who like the Sherlock, uh, they like to, they think the idea is to come up with a totally fictional place, which you can do, but it's in my opinion way harder. If you take a place you know and know well, it works way better in my opinion. Because you make use of what Robin and I talked about the whole time, that you already have all these locations in your mind. So it seems a bit weird to me to come up with fictional locations you first have get into your mind to man make use of them, if you can use all those that are there. Um, I try to make unique locations. With that, um, I basically mean that uh, I really kind of label out mostly objects, locations. So instead of room or empty space, I really have table, chair, and so on. But then, of course, I shouldn't repeat too much because you want to link something with it. And if I would take, like, okay, chair number one, uh, chair two, chair three, uh, yeah, it's too similar. You couldn't distinguish that anymore afterwards. Which doesn't mean that there can't be more than one chair. If it's different chairs, it's no problem at all. And then very important, again, is the order. So we had to twist the body, right? We started at the bottom, and by that we have a given order. And that's really important for locations as well. I usually, in a room, I start next to the door, and then I go with or against the, the watch, the clock. Um, I don't like search around what's the most unique striking object, because then I would lose the order. Having a, lo a logical order, just looking around in a room, that's good enough. And then I group it. I try to group it always in 10 locations. I have 10 locations in a room or in a direction. It's targeting a question that uh, came earlier, like, do I need to then walk through all my locations? Uh, no, I don't, because I know I have maybe 10 locations in this room, and then the next 10 are outside. And if, like you said, I have a meeting at 8, and the first things I remember here in the room, and then I have another meeting at 10, then I just go on outside. And then in the afternoon, I want to think back of the meeting of 8 o'clock, uh, I know it's here in the room. If I want to think of the meeting at 10 o'clock, now that's outside. I don't even have to look here in the room because it's grouped. Does it make a little sense? I think it will be more clear if we just do it together now. Because here's what I wanted to do. I want all of us together. We're a big group, but I think it's just good enough. We can do it in one group. So I don't want to split it up. Uh, time is also limited. We'll do it together. And your task is now to really remember these locations. And I'll ask you uh, to repeat those locations for me. And I ask you right now, don't make any notes. Try to really remember it. And when we're done making 50 locations, then I will ask you to write it down. Because of course, it's handy if you later tomorrow make the, the review uh, and you can't remember one location to be able to look it up. But if you write it just down the whole way, you don't get it into your mind. And that's a goal. OK, do we agree on that? Awesome. Yeah, sure. Does it, does it always have to be <coughs> a house, an apartment with rooms? Uh, I noticed that different people said they're good at different kinds of memory. Um, can it, could it be different things, like uh, going through countries in the world or going through different apartments that you've lived in within which there are rooms or different kinds of, 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 of images? Or do you, do you really think that there's this one be best method? Uh, it can be uh, all those different things. And I still answer the best method is to do it really with the rooms, with the location, because it's already a concept. Like, if you jump from apartment to apartment, it's different places in your mind. They're not 
the link by time and it still works but it works in my opinion certainly it's the beginning better if you really do it like this way um, that's what I highly recommend and then we can argue how small or big a location can be um, but um, I think this is details uh, to me it works best the way I just described it and it doesn't have to be indoors it can also be as I said the outside on Times Square and then I change direction a bit or change in another street after 10 locations that works nearly equally well there's one paper I know really tried to study it scientifically if indoor or outdoor locations work better and in their studies they had that uh, outdoor locations work better and at my PhD like it's one of my first studies to set everything up I tried to replicate it and had exactly the same effects as the opposite effect that indoor worked better so um, I think that's uh, there's neither proof for now that one of the other works better. For me in person, maybe that's also why in my study, when I introduced people, it worked best. It seems to work a little better indoors than outdoors, but the effect size isn't big. But if I really take totally spread out locations, like that within one set going from Germany to the US, it feels too apart for, for me, for my feelings. Okay, shall we just begin? <laughs> so. Again, you have to listen and try really to picture these locations. So maybe after every five or 10 locations, I'll ask someone, give me the last locations, please. And then like if I ask Katie, don't say, oh yes, yes, Katie, not me. But try to test yourself, like check yourself. Do I also know it? So um, yeah, do it for yourself. So that works best. So um, I'm now here in the front. If I would come in through this door, I would just look what's the first thing striking out. So it would be this, uh, call it pulled or? Lecture. Lecture? Podium, lecter. So that, again, how we call it doesn't really matter at all. It doesn't matter which word you give it, if you can picture it in your head. So if you speak another language than English as first language, name it in, in your language. That's totally fine. But so this podium, that's the first location. And then just look on. And then maybe, uh, I have, of course, there's a lot of bookshelves, but uh, I would notice this right away. So the bookshelf, that's number two. Number two is the bookshelf. And then I have the screen here. This is a huge screen for the projector image. That will be number three. If we just go on this direction. We have the, the window here with the uh, blind in front of it. That's number four. So it's the blind of the window is number four. And then here's like this Mac. So this Mac here, that's number five. And maybe we get five for the hand. That's a barely like, I'm not careful enough with my hand. I throw it down. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry. Um, I turn it over. So put the hand on top. Maybe you see a hand here. So this is the fifth location already. So I repeat it one more time. The podium was number one, the books is number two, the screen is three, the blind is four, the Mac is five. Okay? Good. So um, I have to ask someone looking around. Uh, who, who? Barton, you're at the front. Do you want to name us the five locations, please? Uh, should I? You just name it, you don't have to walk around. So begin with number one, what's the first location? Just tell me the five locations okay. we already have. Podium, yeah. Bookshelf. Yeah. Screen. Yeah. And yeah. Mac. Yeah. Awesome. So that's already five. Let me just go on. For me, it would be here the chairs is number six. Chairs is number six. I'm um, thinking how many we should do here in the room. We could probably even do more than uh, ten. We could even do twenty in the room. Um, it's a big room. So, uh, so but chairs is number six. And then like the the clock. That's number seven. It's a large clock. The clock is number seven. Um, and then we have um, the technical box, um, maybe the, the, the stuff, the, the cables, so the box itself. Uh, that's all, number eight already. But then extra, it's a bit on the side, the camera on top, that's number nine. So number nine will be the camera, okay? Number nine is the camera. Um, and then you can take, um, you want to do more? Um, Go to Chris number 10, sure. So Chris is number 10. So Chris is number 10. That's good. I like that one. Good one. I like that. So we had uh, six is the chairs, seven is the clock, eight uh, is, is the cables, nine is the camera, and 10 is Chris. OK? Um, yeah, looking around. Maybe Robbie, can you give us all 10? Uh, podium, uh, bookshelf. Uh, the screen, the window, the MacBook, yeah. sorry, the computer, the chair, the, sorry, the chair, the clock, the cable, the camera. Cool, great. So. Uh, that's 10 locations and we can do some more in the room. It's nicer, but I make a little, to group it, I go a little way from here and then maybe go uh, 
around the back and then to the front. So maybe the, the bagels or just the food here. Uh, that's number 11. 11 is the food itself. And then this uh, coffee, coffee cans, uh, that's number 12. So 12 is the coffee. It's different enough to the food. So there was 11, so 12 is the coffee. Then um, 13. Okay, so the state of building, that's number 13. So that's uh, popping out a bit. Then, um, well, if you come this direction, it could also talk, take this pillow. Uh, pillow is the right word? Column? Pillar. 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 So the pillar, that's number 14. Um, and then coming back, just uh, the table itself. So we get there stuff on the table. Here's the table itself, that's number 15. So number 15 is the table. So it was a bit uh, confusing, so we make it clear. 11 is the food, the bagels, the fruit. 11 is the food. 12 is the coffee. 12 is the coffee. 13 is this uh, interesting architecture, the stator. 14 is a pillar. It's a white round pillar, that's 14. And 15 is the table ear itself. And then 16 is the rising reflector gods. Can you see it? Uh, Art. The arts, the artwork. Uh, red, purplish artwork. Um, can I move this even further? Uh, so, yeah, eat. So that one. <laughs> so we got that one. That's uh, number 16, right? 16. Then 17 is, is the trash cans. 17 is the trash cans. Um, then 18 um, the switches. 18 is the switches. The switches 18. Um, let's see if I don't go. This direction could go to the middle. So 19 then just is like the table, or the, the middle part uh, itself is the 19. Um, and 20 is kind of uh, me and my laptop. So there was a Mac, but it's very different. So uh, me with the laptop is number 20. So 16 was the artwork in the corner. 16, 17 um, was the trash can. Um, we have 18, the switches. We have 19. The table row, the long row with the middle part, and 20 uh, laptop or me. Okay. So it's 20 is already quite a bit. Um, yeah. Amy, do you want to start with number one? Number one. Podium, yeah. Shelf, yeah. Green, yeah. Window, armac, chair, clock, yeah. Okay, awesome. So that's the first 10, the first group. Uh, well done, good job. Um, so you can choose someone to go on. Should continue? <laughs> Christian? Uh, okay. Great. The food, yeah. the coffee, yeah. the stata center, the pillar, the table, awesome. the sculpture, the trash cans, the switches, the gap in the table and you and your laptop. Awesome. Did everyone get it? Yeah. So it's 20 already. So um, let's meet around here in the hallway just outside. So we go on outside in the hallway. So uh, if I come out here, the first thing I notice is this is router. Router? Router of router, who do you say? Router. router. So, so that's 21 already, 21. Then there's this uh, metal box with a warning sticker. No idea what's in there. Uh, Electrical stuff, so the metal panel that's 22. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. uh, then one of the pin boards, a large pin board here that's probably 23. Yeah, cardboard. Uh, where pins, do you call it pins? Cork. Cork, board. cork board. And how do you call it? Pin stuff on there? Push or? pins? Push pins, yeah. The cork board with the push pins. That's 23. Uh, and then if you look up, there's this, uh, this lamp shining to the top in the middle here, just in the front, in the middle. It will be 24 for me, 24. Um, and this is actually an exit sign, or what's this supposed to be? Uh, exit. 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 Um, like this one. This one. Yeah. So that's uh, 25 already. So we have 21 as a router, 22 is a metal panel, 23 is a cork board, 24 is a lamp shining upwards, and 25 is the exit sign. OK? Um, I think I didn't get your name yet. Otherwise, I forgot it could happen. But can you give me your name, please? Santiago. Santiago, yes. can you tell us inside, starting at number one, the locations, please? Uh, the podium, the bookshelf, the screen, the window, the computer, the chairs, the clock, the cable, camera, 
Okay. Awesome. You want to go on? Yeah, the, the food, the coffee, startup, the column, the artwork. Just one in between? The table. The table. The table. Good one. The table, the artwork, the switches. Yeah. The trash. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I also missed this. The You're, you, thanks. The trash, the switches. Yeah. And then we are on the, the table. Yes. And you and your computer. Awesome. Great. And um, we go on the outside. Um, Diego, do you know how to go on? Oh, you mean here? Yeah. All right. So we got the router. Uh, we got the electrical set, the um, board, um, the lights, and the exit sign. Yeah, awesome. So it's already half of what we do. So 25, and now we go on in this direction. 26 is a tree, 27 is a water fountain, 28 is a couch, the couch 28, um, 29 is a round table, a round table, uh, and 30 is, is a fridge, 30 is a fridge, okay? So we have 26 a tree, 27 the water fountain, 28 the couch, 29 round table, and 30 is a fridge. 26 is a tree, 27 water fountain, 28 couch, 29 round table, and 30 is a fridge. How about 31's lift? You say lift or elevator? Elevator. Uh, okay. 31. Uh, 32 is the, uh, it's also artwork, but of course totally different to the artwork in the room. So the, the frame with the picture. Uh, 32. Um, maybe the fire alarm. 33. Fire alarm. 34 is on that. Um, 35. Stair. The entrance to the stairs. Okay, repeat that. 31 is the elevator, 32 is the artwork, a picture, 33 is the fire alarm, 34 is the lab, 35 is the stairs, the entrance to the stairs. can you repeat for us from number 21? So outside the room, 21. 21. Um, outside room. So 36 is a rest room. 36 is a rest room. 37 is a um, plastic box for the papers. 37. Um, 38 is the plant. So it's, we had a tree, but it looked really different to this one. So that's good. So that's 38. Already 38. Can you see it? So there's a sprinkler in here. So the sprinkler. So that's 39, big one 39, and then 40 looking up is this long cables, uh, roof construction with this cables, so that's 40 already. So we had 36 the rest room, 37 the papers in the plastic box, 38 the plant, 39 the sprinklers, and 40 the cables for the roof. So 31, I elevator, elevator, artwork, artwork. And, uh, map. there was a, one before. Oh, the fire, yeah, the fire. Yep. And then the map, and then the uh, case. Yeah, go on. And then the rest of the uh, then this uh, mailbox. Right. Uh, tree, and then the sprinkle, and then the cable. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Andy, can you help us in the room again? It's front, number one. Okay. Uh, podium. So everyone sing with him. So Andy's yeah. doing it, but you also have to sing it yourself. Yeah. Podium, bookshelf, uh, screen. Uh, window, the iMac, uh, chairs, uh, clock, cables, camera, this, uh, bagels, coffee, stata, column, uh, table, uh, artwork, uh, trash cans, switch, uh, the hole in the long table, and your computer? Yeah, great. And you can choose someone to go on. Fred. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so the router, the electric board, then the 
pin board, then the lens, then the exit sign, then the tree inside, then the water, then the couch, table, fridge, elevator, artwork, fire alarm, lab, entrance, restroom, cardboard box, and uh, after the cardboard was the plant, is a fire alarm and the cable. Awesome. That. So that's 40. Um, 10 more? You got this yeah. So I'd say then, so we're already at 41. The 41 is the lobby of the McGovern. Mm -hmm. The lobby was the reception desk of the McGovern. That's, that's 41. Okay. Um, then 42 can be this um, direction board. That's 42. Okay. Did you get it? 42. It's the direction board. Um, 43 is a glass. A uh, green building. 43. 43. So 41 was the reception. 42. Direction board. 43. Um, 44 is like this lounge chairs over here. Yeah. Just like the dining area, like it's a bit large, but it's fine. Dining area, did you guess it? Dining area, so dining area is 45 already. You get 41 reception of the McGovern, 42 is the direction board, 43 is round desk, 44 is lunch chair. So I'd say if you take some outside, it's just another flare. And 46 could be this chimney where the smoke is coming out. 46, Jimmy, the smoke is coming out. 47 is a fence. A long fence, 47. 48 is a track. The rail, the rail. 48. Uh, 49, the car park. Where the cars are parked in 49. And then uh, 50, just the, uh, on the grounds, asphalt on the grounds. Parking here. So 46 is a chimney. 47 is a fence. 48 is a rail. 49, the car park on top, and 50, uh, the street. Street. Repeat for us from 41 down here. 41. Okay, so 41 is the lobby. Yeah. 42 is the design. 43 is the glass. 44 chairs. 45 is the seating area. 46 is the pillar with smoke coming out. 47 is uh, the fence. 48 is the tracks. 49 is the car park. And 50 is the street. Okay. So, uh, can you start with number one first? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, so this okay. The podium, the uh, bookshelf, the screen, the window, the chair, right? Oh, sorry, the, the Mac. Then was it the chair? Then it was the cables. That's one before. Oh, oh, oh the clock. Yeah. Clock, cables, camera. A thing of food. No, 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 no. Oh, it's like a guy. Oh, it's like a mess. Oh, my God. Moving target. Chris, thing of food, the coffee, the stata, the column, the table, the artwork, the trash can, the uh, light switch, the hole. And then you and your yeah, awesome. so, uh, Only 20. Uh, the router. Yeah. Uh, the, the electric box, the, the, pin, the pin board, uh, the lights on the hallway, yeah. exit sign. Then yeah. you have the, uh, the tree, uh, the water fountain, the couch, the round table, and then the refrigerator. Yeah, awesome. Great. Who wants to go on? Yeah, button. The, the lift, the R, so advertisement. Yeah. Yeah. Binding and the, the alarm. The lab, the stairs. Yeah, awesome. And the the, the restroom. Yeah. The the glass holder and the the, the plant, the yeah. sprinkler, the the, the the table. I mean, on the top of the roof. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Good. And, and someone else again here down there. Okay. So the headquarters, the direction. Yeah. The rail. Yeah. That's one before? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we go upstairs now, and I want you now to write it down in your own words. So it doesn't matter which words you use, but try this time. Uh, try to write the numbers one to fifty, because we have the groups. If you miss one, you can see um, which groups that should be missing. Okay. I hope you can hear me. So. Uh, if you have something to write, write it down and put the numbers in front. No, it's not the goal that you know ex immediately number 37 is whatever, but if you know, write it down, you see if in a group something is missing, mm. because you'll know just where a group is. I'll type it in, and you can get the slides, of course, and then you'll also have it in the slides. We'll go on a little bit and practice it uh, in a moment. Uh, so now you, you did something to do another little demonstration, because I want to talk uh, a little bit, looking at the time, not too much, about numbers afterwards. I do a little... Uh, Demonstration on that one. Uh, can someone time a minute for me? That I, someone times a minute for me? Get, can you give me again ready, get set, go, and then after a minute, tell me to stop. So give me a minute. So 9283, 1729-0993, 5719-5673, 2122, Zero nine four one one six two seven two seven three five zero one nine two. Okay. You didn't tell them that I just typed those numbers in. Oh yeah, so he just typed the numbers randomly in it. I didn't prepare them. So uh, I asked him to type me random numbers on the screen. Um, so uh, I could remember these. Um, I'll bring back my slides. So this is now our locations, if you're still missing one or two, in my own words. Um, so if you choose a different word, it doesn't matter at all. Like if you sort of the same locations, that's good enough. But if you want to check any, that's how I, I named that. What, what, was uh, your, what was your strategy with those numbers? I'll explain to you in, in just a couple of minutes. Um, first, I want you to practice with the memory palace one more time. So. For the example, with the body list, I gave you the images, right? I told you, remember, you're walking through a moss. Now I want you to come up with your own images. So we want to do 20 words again. So to really practice making these associations, we do it one-on-one. -on -one. So per location, you have to uh, come up with one image to only remember one word. I'll walk, th walk you through the locations. So the locations are still fresh, so you don't miss one. But you have to come up with your own images, OK? So the first location was a podium. And don't make notes now. Really try to do it in your head. So again, I think it was a bit too fast. I think I need to be more clear. The task is, again, to remember 20 random words. I'll give you 20 random words. But this time, I will not tell you what to picture. I'll just name the location, and then I'll give you the word. If you don't understand the word, because I just said it, then ask. But otherwise, try to come up with the old image in your mind. Try to come up with an image in your head to remember that words. Is that a clear, a clear instruction? Otherwise, please ask. OK, cool. So the first location was this podium. And the word is bean. Like a bean, like black beans, bean. Bean is the first word. You have now to picture something, try to come up with an image to remember bean at the podium. OK, I hope you got something. The second location was the books. The word is a bit abstract, so to try to come up with an image, it's fame. Fame. Like famous, but fame is a word. So you should remember fame, picture something with a book. Fame. OK. So the next location was the screen. The screen. And the word is a duck. The animal, the bird, duck, like Donald Duck, a duck, helping you here already. So duck at the screen. <laughs> and then we had the blinds, the blinds. And the word's a nap, like a short sleep, nap, nap, at the blinds. Picture something. What's the next location? Mac. The Mac. The Mac. So what is soup? Some soup. Soup. It's Mac. Mac. 
And then we have the chairs. The word is beam, like a beam of light or beam me up, Scotty, whatever. Beam at the chairs. Beam. B-E-A-M. Beam. And then we have the clock. And the word is a lock, like to lock something, a lock at the clock. <coughs> then we have the cables, and the word is tape, tape. Lock, a lock. Yeah, to lock then the cables, it's tape. And then the camera, and <laughs> it's leash, okay? So the word more people know a leash, like from the dog, leash, leash. And then at Chris, and I'm sorry, it's not meant to be a joke, but it's a comp <laughs> to comp. <laughs> so, uh, it, it's what it is. So it, it's comp. <laughs> so just quickly, I just uh, named the words. So try to think yourself if you, if you had it. Maybe Chris's word? Comp. comp. And now it's to comp your hair. Comp. So we began, began with the podium. And it was Bean. Books, it was Fame, the screen, the, the blinds, yeah. nap, the telephone, uh, the, the Mac, sorry, the Mac, Foop, the chair, the clock, the cables, camera, Chris. Okay, we go a little faster now. So we had the food, and the word is fitting to the food, but the coincidence is nuts, like nuts, nut, nuts. Nuts, like, uh, yeah, Nuts. yeah. Then it's coffee, and it's a nun. A nun, like uh, religious women. Uh, yeah. And then it's a stellar building, and it's Superman. <laughs> Superman. And then it's a pillar, the column. It's a rat. The animal, a rat. Rat. And then it's a table. It's dashboard, like in a car, dashboard, dash. And then it's an artwork. It's not meant as advertisement, but it's Nike. Nike. The shoes, Nike. Yeah. And then the trash can, it's nugget. Like you know, it's chicken nugget or gold nugget, but it's nugget. And then we have the switches, it's a mill. A mill. Paper mill or steel mill? Whatever you want, a mill. Mill, M-I-L-L, -L. like a windmill. Before that, we had uh, nuggets, nuggets, like chicken nugget or gold nugget, like a small piece of something. And maybe at McDonald's they have chicken nuggets, and you also speak about gold nuggets to be found in, in the water. And before that, we had some brand Nike, Nike. And, sorry. What it means, I will tell you afterwards. We're not so far. <laughs> Which one? Like a windmill or a steel mill. You can. You, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. You can also take male, yeah. like in the male. Yeah. You can also take male, if that's easier, let's take male. But okay. if you remember it already male, it's male. <laughs> and otherwise, it's, uh, it's male. And um, we need two more, right? So, um, it's numbers. Um, so, um, we first have here the, the gap, and the word is a set. A set of whatever, the set of dishes, a set, but a set. S E T set. And then it's a computer or at me. Uh, it's not too mean for me, the image is bone. Like a bone. Bone. Okay. Very quickly, at the food, it was nuts. The coffee, none. The uh, stator, Superman. The pillar, rat. The table, dash. And the hook, Nike. The trash can, nugget. Switch mail or mail. The gap it's set. The computer it's bone. Okay, try if you can write down the twenty words or put in your head if you like. Okay, how did it work? Pretty well. So again, if you miss now one, two, three, it doesn't matter. I think most people have more words good than they would have thought uh, possible this morning. And even more than seven at least. Uh, so, but even now, again, if I ask you what words, don't look at your notes. Word number 12. Word number 12? None. 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 So you don't know it immediately, but you know, well, 11 was, or 10 was Chris, so it's 11 is the food, 12, none. You can figure it out. Like what I did in the video, when they asked me number 40, I don't know immediately what's number 40, but I know 1, 11, 21, 31, 41, one back, okay, that's 40. We can't find it back like this. So that's quite important. And if you no, missed one or two, you might think, okay, maybe I can make a different association. Maybe that image wasn't strong enough for me. And well, certainly, if maybe it was a, a word you don't know well in, in English, if you got it in your own language, I hope it's clear. It's uh, probably easier.